Good day, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world. His Royal Highness shaved to the butt. I think we got rid of the fleas. He feels a lot better. Progress this week. <clears throat> I didn't do a lot of filming because I was working on other stuff and I did put a lot of pins in. As you can see, this is where we left off last time was finishing what we were supposed to on that side and then moved back to the original side and went ahead and planked all the way up to the deck level on all of the decks. So now we gotta pull all the pins out and trim everything off A lot of trimming and sanding to do. All this back here has got to get trimmed off. But that was a whole bunch of boards on the one side. Got us up to the deck level. Hopefully I'll have more time next week to work on the other side and match this. Because we still got a whole bunch more over here to get up to the deck on this side. So, good progress. <clears throat> Not too much sanding to do. Just a lot of trim work and we'll flush these edges with the slope of the deck. <clears throat> A lot of edges there we gotta slope down. So Got her up to match these different photographs. And then they want us to do the other side before we move on to the next step. Which instead of you thinking going down and doing the bottom part of the planking, I guess it's giving us a break. And wants us to go in and put these <clears throat> hatch covers on. Oh, we get to do some shaping too. We'll have to look at that real close. <clears throat> I haven't even seen my shaping tool to match that. Uh, hopefully I got the right one. making the boards like a corner round and then framing in the hatch covers with that board that's corner rounded. That's going to be fun but it'll be a change of pace from the planking and I imagine after that they'll have us finish the rest of the planking on the bottom Yep. And continue downward. So, probably won't get to these hatch covers next week because we got a lot of planks to put on on the other side. A 
a lot of sanding and shaping to do to get a nice smooth finish there. So using these sewing pins worked out really good. And so I would take before I put the next plank on, I'd put a glob of glue on the frame, those beams that come up the wall, on each frame, and then I'd come along with the glue and I'd put a little bead on the edge of the plank so that when I set the new plank in there, it not only glued itself to the frame member, but it also glued itself to the plank below it. And then wipe the glue off, put pins in there, and make sure it's good and solid against the frame. So, it came out really good. And I think we can duplicate that on the other side. Now that we've done this side, <clears throat> got pretty good at it. We'll try to do the same thing over here. But today is Friday. I gotta go do some digging out back. Start getting ready for some more work on the chicken coop. I want to uh, Mr. is gonna follow me wherever I go. I want to take some of this rat wire and I might cut this roll right down the middle because this is 50 feet long and I'd like to put it in the ground a couple inches around the base of the coop and then around the base of the chicken run, which the chicken run is gonna come out 18 feet away from the coop, run along the fence, and it'll be 10 feet wide. I'm gonna do the same thing on that side. We can go all the way to the fence and back. And the whole thing will be enclosed in regular chicken wire. So the eagles and hawks can't come down in there and possums can't come down in there. I saw a possum the other day running along the fence. And I whacked him with the hoe, but I don't think I got him. I know he's going to be looking for my chickens when they come. So the idea is to get the rat wire to protect from animals coming up underneath the chicken wire because that chicken wire will be run from up high over to the fence down the fence wall just totally enclose it in chicken wire this will have metal on it we've got this metal here for the roof and we got more panels coming we'll do the sides frame in a door here in the middle with some one by fours and two by threes and I probably want to put a, a chicken door inside my access door I'm gonna put a small access door probably four feet high that gives me access to these runs so I can clean them out or whatever on both sides and then have a chicken door in the access door and then this access door here won't have a chicken door in it because it'll only be for us humans to go in and out of <clears throat> in the past we had a chicken coop back here and we had some of that fencing enclosing this back area 
and we would let them run out in this area but that's how the possums got them after a couple years the possums started coming in here and catching the chickens one at a time because I didn't have chicken wire protecting them from the predators the boss is not a predator he does haul butt after a squirrel every now and then but he ain't fast enough so That's it for this week. We did make good headway this week with the planking. This kind of planking is fairly simple compared to when you got to make all them arcs and curves. We had a little bit of that up front. And we just used the heating iron and some water. We got a pretty good wrap on that. A little bit right in here create that arc we got one two boards there that didn't pull tight I might have to give them some help I don't know maybe I can just fill a filler that let's see when we get to trimming these off how bad it is Well, thanks for watching. The finished product in the wind.
fit in that way. <laughs>